Today on Fishing with the Dodger, this is the Kids on the Bow Show. A mom and daughter team up and go head to head with the Dodger and Dodger Junior. Do you have any uh, like a uh, number of fish that you want to catch today? Seven. You want to catch seven fish? <laughs> Dodger Junior school friends sound off about fishing. If you could catch any fish in the world, what kind of fish would you catch? Shark. <laughs> and Dodger Junior sends his dad on a GPS quest. Are you ready? Let's go! Are you ready? Let's go. The Dodger has two passions in his work life, fly fishing and coaching youth. And today it's all coming together perfectly. The Dodger hosted a casting clinic where he taught the kids secrets of casting a perfect fly and catching a fabulous fish. Now, slow it down a bit. And remember, throw that bug off the top of your rod. Ready? It was at that clinic that little Amanda won a fishing trip. Who's going to go out fishing with you? You and me and Mom or you and me and Dad? Dad. Dad? Well, time changes everything because Amanda is taking that fishing trip today. And guess who is her guest of honor? So I said to her, who are you going to take? And she says, Dad. Yay. <laughs> she was so excited. Right? That's what she thinks. It's Mom. <laughs> It's the first fly fishing trip of the season for the Dodger and kids on the Bow River in Calgary. The morning flow of traffic is just getting started as Dodger, Dodger Jr., Amanda and her mother Suzanne prep the boats on the Bow River in Calgary. It's mid-April and the snow has finally melted. It's time to get out on the water. Suzanne can't wait. <laughs> Today we're here to fly fish the bow. I have never done it before. It's going to be a great day. I'm here with my daughter who's 10. She's very excited because she's never done it either. So we'll see what the Dodger can do for us. The Bow River is a not so well kept secret amongst Canadian fly fishers. Running through the middle of one of Canada's largest cities, it's a haven for trout fishing. In fact, some say it's the best trout river in the world. So Suzanne has some great expectations. I'm going to become a guide on my next trip. I am going to learn so much that I am going to be the Dodgers left hand whatever. Little Amanda's pretty pumped too. She won a float trip down the bow at the kids casting clinic last year. Now she's setting the bar high. Do you have any uh, like a uh, number of fish that you want to catch today? Seven. You want to catch seven fish? <laughs> Clearly, this is going to be a great day of fishing if we can only get everybody comfortable in front of the camera. Okay, you know what? This <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on, you got to get used to it now. Yeah, look. <laughs> Whoops, got you on camera. Oh, wait a minute. Well, you know, it didn't break, so it's no, going to be know. fine. All right, folks, time to get into gear and put your fly fishing glamour puss on. Okay, so when you're fishing, you're going to be standing up on the front, facing away from me. And all you're going to do, you remember the cast I showed you at the pond? You're just going to flip it in and flip it out. Well, we'll have to see how Amanda and Suzanne do against the Dodger and Dodger Jr. What was it Amanda said? She plans to catch seven fish. We're going to check in on Amanda a little later, but first, the Dodger gives us a quick tutorial on how to make sure your first spring trip on the water is a safe one. Okay, always keep your rod tip high, because those rods are very, very fragile, but the sum of all the parts makes them very strong, okay? In some ways, the same can be said for safety information. The tips seem simple at first, but combined with common sense, they can save your life. For example, it's very important to know how to safely get in and out of a boat. But we're gonna get you into the water. You might need a hand free. There you go. 
Now one hand on the boat. So what I want you to do, Amanda, is you're coming in, the boat floats, right? Which is a good thing. So what you want to do, I can't get her to laugh. She's, she's unstoppable, Mom, I can't get her. So what you got to do is push, put your weight down on the boat, because watch what happens when we let go. See how that comes up? If we don't put our weight on the boat, it'll catch your leg, and I've gone flipping in many times. Look at her laugh. I know, look at her laugh. Dodger's going to get wet today. Okay, so what you do, put your rod in first. Don't get my seat wet or anything, man. Actually, we're going to stick Mom in the back, so. There you go. Okay, ready? Weight down. Flip that leg over. There you are, perfect. Other leg up, good. After Amanda and her mom make it safely into the boat, it's my turn. I'm gonna do my, my graceful dodger entrance, okay. which means I belly roll into the boat. Ready? Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get pushed out and I'll pull us up into the current. Okay. This is why my previous life as a gymnast paid off. <laughs> never lost a fish, let alone a person. But even so, it makes my heart glad to see everyone safely in the boat. Now let's catch some monsters. Well, the monsters are coming, aren't they? We have to wait and see what the Bow River has in store for the Dodger and kids. Boat lift, oh, you just got hammered. Okay, back to the left. Yeah, you got hammered again. Plus, we take a walk in the water with our French fly girl. It's the best river in the world, are you kidding? I mean, people fly from all over the world to come and fish in Calgary. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Fishing with the Dodger. Today is the first day of spring, uh, according to the Dodger's calendar. It's the first float down the Bow River. Little Amanda is leading the charge. After winning a float trip, she and her mom, Suzanne, are looking for trophies on one of the best trout rivers in the world, the Bow River in Calgary, Canada. It's a beautiful April day. The waters of the Bow River are absolutely beckoning. Dodger Jr. and guide Tom Windsor are leading our camera boat today while the Dodger takes Amanda and her mom through the fly fishing basics. Okay, so stand up and go right forward into those knee locks. Turn your chair just a bit. So if you fall, you fall into your chair. There you go. Okay, put your rod tip down and give me a wiggle. There you go, okay. And I'm gonna get you to give me a flip over to the left. Just flip your rod over to the left. Springtime is also a good time for the Dodger to get in fishing shape. That's one thing though I like about being on the oar, Suzanne, is it's a great workout for the back. Left, 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 he's gone. You had yourself a monster, girl. Okay, give me another quick cast to the right, strip some line in. Okay, now give me a real quick cast. We don't have ourselves a piggy. Now back to the left. Good, now leave her down. Now let's watch. Watch, because that sucker took off on you. That exploded. It's a mild day for April in Calgary, but the wind is giving us a real challenge. Because as you're casting back and as you're coming forward with your cast, you're literally pushing or punching the, the, uh, the line through the wind. The wind's been a challenge today. It makes it a little hard to punch the line through. But uh, as Amanda learned, I turned the nose of the boat and helped her uh, use the wind to its advantage. And uh, makes that cast a little bit easier. Still tough though. You can never have it perfect. It's never always crystal clear with no wind. In fact, the Dodger has these words of wisdom for how to deal with wind. So how does that go? Wind, wind, go away. Come again another day. Or something like that. Today forecasted to be a beautiful day, but old mother nature was up to her tricks on the Bow River. In spring, the mornings are cool. And as the afternoon sun comes out, it creates thermals, which causes wind. Wind makes it tough casting. You'll often hear people say, punch it through the wind. What we mean by that is make sure you have a good tight line on your back cast. Take the time to let your line straighten out, then punch it through the wind on your forward cast. By punching it, we mean cast as if you have a bug on the end and you're trying to throw it off. There are no easy remedies to battling the wind. Work your cast as we did today, using the wind to your advantage. For every windy day, there are 10 that are not. Be patient and enjoy your day. I know it can be tough, but it gets better. Meet Astrid Delang. 
Originally from France, Astrid has lived in Calgary for half her life. She leads a series of workshops advising individuals and businesses about French culture, bringing the best of both Canadian and French worlds together. Because see, French people are really, really close to the earth and they're really close to nature. They just absolutely love it. For me, it's being able to find more time and make more time to find myself in the water and, uh, and enjoy being out there and fishing. If I catch stuff, bonus if I catch good stuff extra bonus but it really is more about the experience for me of being out there and really enjoying the outdoors and for Astrid fly fishing is a big part of La Belle Vie in Calgary it's the best river in the world are you kidding I mean people fly from all over the world to come and fish in Calgary Astrid has been running her own company for three years and the commitment hasn't allowed for as much time on the river as she'd like so she's asked a dodger to help her get her feet wet again Having fun. okay this is definitely the way I'm gonna start and winding again for my 14 hour days hey you know what I'm a French fly girl At the end of the day, it's hard to say who had the most fun, Astrid or her dog. It's like riding a bike. Oh, you're welcome. We'll get out again. Coming up, Amanda and Suzanne try to ride the wind into a pile of fish. And Dodger Junior's school friends share their thoughts on the sport of fly fishing. Well, it can be exciting. It can be really, really, really boring if there's no fish. Welcome back to Fishing with the Dodger. Today, kids are ruling the roost as Amanda, winner of a float trip from our kids' casting clinic, takes a ride down the Bow River in Calgary, Alberta. She's searching for some of the trout that has made the bow waters famous amongst anglers worldwide. So far, Amanda has scored one hit, but it got away. I guess that makes it fish one, Amanda zero. Not that she should feel bad, everybody's batting zero. Perhaps it's time to change up the flies. Okay, strip some line in. Give me another cast. Oh, lift, oh, you just got hammered. Okay, back to the left. Yeah, you got hammered again. There you go. Okay, let it sit. I'll straighten the boat out for you. I guess that makes it fish two, Amanda zero. <laughs> Not that anyone's counting. A pelican surveys the action from a sandbar. Big, beautiful birds who eat a lot of fish. And that means the fish are out there. And many times we'll pull in a fish that's got a punctured gill plate or has got a, a hole in the side. And it's typically because of the hook on the pelican when it comes up and strikes the fish and tries to carry it away. And the biggest one we saw sw uh, swimming away one time probably had about a 24-inch brown trout in it. And all we kept saying as he was flying was, choke, choke. At midday, we decide to pull in for a barbecue lunch on the riverbank. The Dodger tries to negotiate a little labor exchange deal with Amanda. So you're gonna row back upstream for us? No. Because I'm gonna be pretty tired when the day's done, eh? <laughs> you do, you gotta row back. Why do you think I brought all this food? When we reach the shore, the boys tend to the cooking while Amanda decides to wade in for some more fly casting. Hey, she's gotta build up her strength if she's gonna row us all back upstream. Whoa, and it looks like she has another fish on the line. Tom rushes over to give guidance. Oh, but alas, it's another one that gets away. Still, Amanda's looking pretty happy. She decides to do a little dance with the fishes, you know, to show she has no hard feelings. Probably the best thing in the Dodgers fishing tackle box. It's a GPS, so this allows us to track ourselves anywhere in the world within a couple feet. So that could be anywhere from tracking our way back into a fishing lodge on the ocean or finding a hole in a river. To demonstrate what this is used for, I have programmed in some waypoints and we are going to get the Dodger, which should be out here any second to go out and do a quest and bring back whatever he finds. Come over here, Todger. What do you got for me, Phil? I got a quest for you. Follow the waypoint, bring back whatever you find. 
All the waypoints. Yeah. You've been playing again, haven't you? Maybe. Okay. I see you got the GPS right side up this time. <laughs> Oh, I got another call. Hello? I don't care what Fox says, I'm busy right now. Oh, hi. Okay, all you need to do is run through the brick wall and hit A and you magically are invincible. Bye. No, sell. Okay, good, you're selling. Okay, it says to go west, this way. Okay, three paces west. Well, Connor, your little GPS trick paid off. Well, it took you long enough. We found our way back, man, and all I can say is it was a wild goose chase. But there's your ice cream. None missing, I can see. You probably no, tried. No, she <laughs> tried. She did her best to try and get them, but at the end of the day, Dodger Jr. gets his ice cream. Keeping up with the kid's point of view, we decided to head over to Dodger Junior's school to find out what his classmates think of fishing. Here's what they said. Well, I think it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty fun. I really like fishing. I do it a lot with my dad. This weekend, we're actually going down to Kimberly, and we're doing some fishing there and golfing, probably. But yeah, I like fishing a lot. So clearly, a lot of kids like fishing. But if they could catch any fish in the world, what kind of fish would it be? Um, a trout, a parrotfish, but I don't think they're here in Calgary. A trout. Wow. Yeah. Really? Why? How come? Uh, cause they're big, and you have a lot to eat then. Um, I probably catch uh, salmon. A shark. <laughs> <laughs> sea bass. A sea bass. How come? Well, um, I've tried sea bass before and it tastes really good. I'd like to catch a muskie. I think I'd like to catch an aggressive fish and something from um, maybe a shark or something like that. So something a little bit different than what you find locally. Coming up, the Dodger tells us the importance of making sure the gear fits the girl. So one of the things we always make sure we do is we always make sure we have eyeglasses or a sunglass to protect our eyes. So when we're casting, we don't get caught with a fly. Stay tuned. It's the first trip down the Bow River of the year. The snow has just melted and Calgarians are itching to get out and enjoy warmer weather. The Dodger is taking 10-year-old Amanda and her mother on their first honest-to-goodness float trip down the river. This is destined to be a spring day neither will ever forget. It's nearing the end of the day and everyone has had a rod in the water, but no one has landed a fish. How many fish did Amanda predict she'd catch anyway? What was it? Did you say you wanted to catch seven fish? One. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got that on film now. You're close, buddy. Look at the camera, you're blushing. Ah. Ah, well, revisionist history was always part of the fishing tradition. But hey, folks, the day is still young and the Bow River is still full of beautiful trout. Dodger Jr. is lightening the mood by dressing as a voyageur. Perhaps he's paying homage to the Galanez French-Canadian heritage? Passed by some bridges still washed out by last year's Bow River flood. It was devastating on the city infrastructure, but it helped replenish local trout stock. Come on, big pig, right in front of Tommy. Show him how it's done. Right in front of Tommy, show him how it's done. There you go, let it sit. Heavily oxygenated water. We should have uh, hammered something out of that. Wow, this water is getting kind of rough people might get wet. 
See, that rogue wave even surprised the Dodger. Well, folks, it looks like this was a bit of a skunked fishing day. No one had any luck on the end of a rod. But nevertheless, it was still a great way to enjoy our early spring on the Bow River in Calgary. And congratulations on your fun day. Are you doing a fish dance? Uh, no, I'm just dancing. One thing to consider when you're equipping your junior fisher is these flyers are little. Too often, parents buy equipment for the kids that is just plain too big. I always recommend sticking with a light four weight rod about eight and a half to nine feet long. This rod weight is ideal for them to learn the sport and as they advance and get stronger they can move to a five or six weight rod. In years to come their old four weight will become their trusted buddy for target dry fly casting. Clothing is another thing to consider. Always make sure you dress in layers and be sure to buy them the right size waders and boots. Stuffing the toes of their big brother or sister's boots with newspaper may work in a winter snowball fight but we want to make sure the boots fit properly as we walk and wait a lot, and we don't want them stumbling in the water. Be sure to wrap that waist in a waiter belt in case they fall in, and above all, don't forget your sunglasses. You'll not only be styling on the water, but your eyes will be protected from those rogue casts from mom and dad. Be safe and tight lines. Okay, so we've got hats and glasses, that's cool, waiter belts. Amanda's got hat and glasses ready to go, and then Connor, <laughs> not an animal. This is my protege. This is what I get stuck with on the water, right? Well, that's it for another episode of Fishing with the Dodger. Next week, be sure to join us for a spring venture into the Rocky Mountains. Also, Dodger Jr. takes us through the basics of a perfect cast. And we find out the safest way to walk across a river. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Fishing with the Dodger.